guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the Tuscana. We are checking out the brand new Voyage of Wonder. That is right, guys. The Treasure of Time is up. Now, looking at this, we do get some Stargazer cards. Unfortunately, it is not any time emblems. I wish they would just give us a choice chest in there. And then we get the regular mats that we get. We get some poke coins, get some engraving mats. Let's go ahead and get into this, guys. Now, overall, this one is pretty cool. I like when they do the sand. It seems really, really easy to see. But here we have Kren, Kren and then we have Taylee. Um, a lot of players don't even use Taylee, but it does have our little cart, guys. Now, we have seen the cart in the past. We're going to go ahead and activate the time altar. So we are going to activate this time altar. This is going to be one of the important things. So there are two different times in here. So you're going to have to pay a little bit of attention to it to make sure that you're going in the right time and getting through this part. First camp right there goes down pretty easy. The altar even brought the cactuses back to life, guys. We're going to go ahead and pick up this treasure. Then we're going to hit this railway lever. So actually changing a little bit, as you can see right here, which way it's going to go. Then, of course, if you've done this before, guys, we are sending the cart on its way. And there it goes. So we'll go through and it hits this next stopping point, which you kind of break down the cart or you go through the cart um, little by little. Again, that's kind of what we've seen before. So we're going to dispatch the cart. Boom, it goes on its path. Path. It stops right here, meaning giving us access to actually move past the cart and take out a couple camps. And with the power of ions, it's pretty easy to get through these camps, guys. We're going to pick up a chest right here and then take out this camp as well. And in here, they're just running Brutus over and over and over. We're going to go ahead. We're going to turn on this time altar. There we go. Brings us another camp because we need to get to the switch right back there. With that camp out of the way, we do have access to use the railway lever, which of course is going to change up a couple of these guys. Now looking back, we're going to run around and we're going to send this cart. So we're actually going to reset this cart. There we go. Number one, we're going to do this two times cart control lever. Number two, going to send the cart on its way to its next little point right here. Now from this point, we are going to flip our lever back. There we go. Turning it the other way. And then we are going to um, activate the time altar one more time. This is going to go back, changing everything to the way it was. And you can see, guys, it actually connected the path on this side, which means, again, the cart control is going on its path right through the barricade up to its next point. Then we're going to move over to the next point. We're going to send the dispatch, put the cart on its way, guys. It's going to get stopped right here. Somebody act already activated the altar in this area, but we're going to have to take out a couple of these camps. And that one was an Orthos fight, but that did give us access to the time altar. Let's go ahead and use this time altar. Now, here is the switch, guys. There is a broken lever that we have right here that we're going to have to do something with. And actually, let's switch this back. I'm thinking we have to use the lever here. We're going to use this railway lever here to change up a couple of these. And then we're going to go through to, to the time altar. We're going we're to change this one back. To the broken level because that changed it over here so we can utilize that from here we're going to send this red card i'm going to see we can reset it there is once it is back we're going to send it number two boom sending it around on its path guys there we go we got it to the next spot that we needed it to be at now from here the puzzle gets a little bit uh, more confusing we're actually going to come over here we're going to pick up this chest now we're looking to move over to this left-hand side, and we are going to use the time altar that we do have over on this left-hand side, giving us access kind of on the back side of where we originally were. We're going to pick up this chest right here. Then we're going to use the time altar on the right side, again, to give us access to a couple more things in here, including this switch. Boom, we are turning it back the other way to, again, change some of these places that we've seen. So from here, we are gonna send the cart on its way. We're gonna actually come around this left-hand side and there goes the cart, guys. We're almost done with this one. Boom, it broke through. It got to its next spot, which is where we wanted to see it. So from here, we are moving over to our left. We're actually gonna pick up this treasure chest and then you guessed it right, it is the time altars again, guys. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna activate this time altar. You can see it popped up a couple levers and a couple camps. So from here, we're gonna take out this top camp first. That one goes down pretty easy, giving us access to our first crystal chest and our five stargazer cards. Now we're gonna come down and take out this bottom camp right here. From this one, we are gonna follow the path around to the bottom. We're gonna pick up this chest in the very bottom, 
And then moving over to our right, this is going to be the next time alter that we're gonna be utilizing to kind of conclude this puzzle up here. One more camp to take out to get another chest in the bottom. That one gives us access to our golden chest. Over to our right, the exact same, gonna take out this camp as well. And there we go, another chest down, giving us access to our golden chest right there. Now we are headed all the way back, guys. We are gonna be headed back to this lever. This is how we're gonna switch the railway lever. There we go, all turned around here. And now we are going to use the time alter to change this back to the desert. That is right, guys. So this gives us the broken path for the cart, which means the cart cannot go this way anymore. Hopping over here, we have one more cart control lever to actually send the cart on its way. And there it goes, guys. Boom, bounces off a couple places, gets to its final destination just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and activate the time alter in this very bottom section. Boom, it turns on. What a big idea, the minecart turned into, that is right, our final crystal chest, guys, to conclude the voyage. Boom, we pop that open. Rowan, of course, comes up with a congratulations, we completed the voyage. We have two crystal chests, we have nine of nine gold chests, which will conclude the, conclude, uh, the, the treasure of time voyage of wonder. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.